Hey everybody, welcome back to Ignite Your Glow. It's Jessica Harris. And today we have a quick word for my builders, for all of the kingdom entrepreneurs. So I want you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're new to it. Go ahead and like and comment and don't forget to share, share and share because sharing is caring. All right, so I want you guys to meet me really quickly, quickly <laughs> on in Psalms. Meet me in Psalms 37, okay? Perfect. So we're going to be looking at verses three and verses four. And today I really wanted to just hark on the concept that what you're building this time is going to work. That business idea, that vision, that project, it's going to work this time. Here is your encouraging word. In Psalms 37 verse three, it starts, trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. So that's verses three and four. So I wanted you to understand that what you're building in this season, whatever business, nonprofit, whatever it is that God has you touching in this season, it's going to work. That means that regardless of what you try to build before, any past businesses that you may have been a part of that didn't work the last time, I need you to know that this time is going to work. And the reason why it's going to work this time around is because this time you've learned how to partner with God. You've learned how to make God a partner in everything. You've been seeking him. You've been allowing him to lead you. You've been allowing him to guide you. So I don't want you to get discouraged right now if what you're building does not seem fruitful. Understand that God is a God of order and he is all about building a solid foundation. That means that what you're building right now and how you're building it out is laying out a solid foundation for things to grow. If you ever look at construction on a street, when they're uprooting, you know, the old layer of pavement, they strip everything down first, which means they break it down, right? probably like that old idea, that old business, right? It was doing something, but it crumbled at some point. It crumbles. Why? Because they have to tear it down. But after they tear it down, they put stilts in the ground there, little small ones, right? And then they start to lay in the cement of it. And what do they do after they lay down the cement? They let it set for some time. And then after it sets, they smooth, they do it again. And they lay out some more cement, they smooth it out and they let it set. And then they lay some more cement down and they smooth it out and they let it set. That's a process. The reason why they do that is because they want to make sure that the foundation of what they're building upon is going to be sturdy, that is going to be able to withstand, that it needs to be able to withstand the weight of the cars that are going to be driving on top of the road. Hear that clearly in your spirit. When people are paving roads, they lay down foundations of cement after cement because they have to lay it down so it can be able to set in stone a solid foundation to withstand the weight of the vehicles that will be on top of it. That means that the foundation that God is setting within your business is being set in stone so it can withstand the weight of what you're carrying inside of you. So it can withstand the weight of what's getting ready to be built on top of it. So it can withstand the weight of any storms that may try to come past it. So it can withstand the weight of the people who are gonna be helping you, of the ways that is getting ready to grow, of the things that you're getting ready to do, of the ways that you're getting ready to go out into the world. It must be able to withstand the weight of what God has placed inside of you. Because y'all already have heard it in my previous videos that what you have been given to do is not a small vision. It's not a small project. It's a God-sized vision. But he tells us in his word plainly that he will do what? Delight thyself in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. So if you are delighting yourself in what he is desiring of you, he will fulfill that job, that project, that business to the ways in which he is calling it to be. When you trust in him and you do good, you shall be able to dwell in the land and he will feed you. That means the provisions of what you will need will be able to sustain you. And what you are building is not just for you, but it's a legacy that you are leading out for you and for your family and for your children. As you build out that legacy, you will see so many things start to come to pass. That's why the foundation must be solid because the weight of it must be able 
able to stand for generations and generations and generations to come. What you're building is a generational project that's going to allow your family to be fed for years and years and centuries and decades and so much more. But that's why it looks like it's a slow process right now. That's why you need to know that it's going to withstand. That's why you need to know that it's going to work. Because you partnered with him, you learned from the first time around, and because you're doing it the right way, it's going to be fruitful and multiply. So that is your word for today. I hope you all have an amazing day. Heavenly Father, gracious God, may you go ahead of us, Lord God, in all things, in all ways, in all areas of our lives. May you continue to guide us and keep us. May you continue to move us according to your will. May you continue to show us, Lord God, the ways of you and how to go about it. May we be good stewards of everything of which you are giving us. May we continue to be led by your spirit in all ways, in all areas of our lives, with our children, with our businesses, with our projects, Lord God, with everything that we touch. And that's in Jesus' mighty name, Lord God, may your hedge of protection go upon each and every one of our lives. In our humbly prayer, Lord God, may it reach your ears. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Peace and blessings. Ignite your glow. Subscribe.